episode 18 of 642 Things to Draw. Woo! Let's see how many prompts we have today. Looks like three. Whoa, why is the lighting so blue? Alright, well, I'll have to fix that sometime. First is a knot. Second, an old key. And three is a submarine. Alright, looks like that helped with the lighting too, so... Let's start sketching some stuff out. All right, prompt number 18. So I was pretty excited to have three ideas to put together. And even though a knot, an old key, and a submarine are not terribly different or challenging to put together, I still had a lot of fun figuring out an idea for this one. So I'm just sketching out, can I draw a knot? Can I draw an old key? And can I draw a submarine? And yeah, maybe my submarine's a little bit influenced from the yellow submarine from the Beatles, but uh, yeah, I don't, I haven't seen many submarines in my life, so I just am kind of going off of whatever is in my brain. I didn't use any references for this, so yeah, that's how that started. But I changed it later because it just wasn't as fun as a normal submarine. So my thought was that oh, I'll have a submarine, you know underneath the water, as a submarine does, and it's discovering this old key that maybe they're traveling to the city of Atlantis, but, you know, the gates are locked because if you're a hidden city, you probably just don't have your doors wide open. So the submarine's discovering this old key to get into the city, but maybe the key's, like, tied up, or maybe the lock around the gates and a knot. Just, it was my way of adding in a knot into this prompt, and... It was, yeah, I wasn't super happy about it, but I like the storyline behind it. So I know I wanted to keep the submarine underwater, and they're on this expedition of some sort. And that part of this expedition is to find this old key. And I like the idea of the old key sort of being this window, almost. At first, I thought maybe having some sharks going in and out of it to make it a little spookier might be fun, but I wasn't loving that. So then I thought, okay, this key can be tied with a knot somewhere and you'll see something through the window of the key. And since they're deep underwater, I thought maybe some spooky kind of sea creature could be staring at the submarine. And this was my most favorite idea, so it's the one I ended up going with. So as I have started to do in some of my videos, I'm showing the sketching process. If you really hate this, please let me know and I won't include it. If you really like this, I'll keep including it. Honestly, until someone tells me to stop, I'm probably going to keep adding it. And you know, if there's a video in the future where I don't have a sketching process because I didn't film it because I didn't feel like it or I forgot to hit record, well, that's just what's going to happen. So, as I said, I changed the submarine style and my thought was, honestly, when I was sketching out one of the submarines, it just sort of looked like this cute little circular blobby shape that reminded me of like a whale and I like the idea of a submarine trying to be disguised as a sea creature so I wanted to keep its design like it was a whale but of course that ends up being dangerous for this submarine expedition later I'll talk more about the story prompt for this one a little bit later in the video just so I can focus a little on the art for right now so the paper that I'm using is just my normal cardstock paper. I knew I wanted to use alcohol markers and this paper works really well with that. Any products that I use, I'll link down below so you can see all the materials and stuff. You know, if that interests you, then there you go. It'll be there. So I was trying to rethink how I could add a knot into this prompt because I didn't just want to tie it around the key because it just seems kind of boring. So I thought, hey, a knot doesn't have to be made with rope. So this giant sea creature thing that is staring at the submarine, it's no longer just staring at it. Now it's wrapping one of its long little tentacle things around it like it's in a knot. So yeah, there you go. There's a submarine on an expedition to find an old key. And now it's caught up in a knot from this giant sea creature. Yep, that's how I added all three together. Honestly, I'm kind of proud how it worked out because it, it looks like it's from a storyline. Like, not just these are three random things that were put together, but that they all make sense and they're all part of this b 
bigger story. At least that was my hope. <laughs> so when I was lining this, I thought the key didn't look old enough, so I tried to add some cracks and lines into it to make it look older. And I think it accomplished what I wanted it to, so I was happy with that. And I'm just using these Spectrum Noir liners, which I have done a review on if you're interested in that. It's on my channel. I Will I link it in the end? I'll link it down below, but I'm not going to link it in the end card because, well, that's, that's designated for other things. But yeah, if you want to see the review on these liners, I'll leave it there. It's also a spooky edition, so if you're in that Halloween mood, then there you go. It's a nice spooky sort of review. But if you want, you know, actual information on these, that's also included in the review. Anyway, back to talking about this prompt. Uh, yeah, I have decided that this giant sea creature that this submarine's running into, it's a giant squid. And yeah, I made it a giant squid because I think it's fun. I really like the idea of these spooky creatures and the deep sea that we don't really know about, like Megalodon. Is it a myth? Is it real? Who knows? Probably, I don't know, like the Navy and stuff, and they're just keeping secrets from humans because there are just some things that the regular public probably just shouldn't know about because it would terrify us. So thanks, government, for keeping secrets to keep us safe, or at least keep us from panicking. But yeah, a little bit about this story. So I've decided that there's these submarines. They went on an expedition to find the lost city of Atlantis and they found it, but of course the gates are locked. So they have to find an old key. And a couple explorers were like, hey, we know exactly where that is. We'll go get the key, bring it back to you guys, and then we can get into the lost city of Atlantis. Perfect plan, right? And because they were going to go find this key, they decided we can't just use a regular submarine because that might alert like the undersea creatures. We don't want to disturb their habitat because although they're explorers, they also care a lot about the environment. So they used a submarine that looks more like a whale to try to blend in, but also make sure like other sea creatures wouldn't want to attack them. Because, like, sharks would be like, oh, that's just a giant whale. We can't eat that. That's too much. So they would just leave it alone. That was the plan, at least. But as this whale submarine expedition is going to get the lost key for the city of Atlantis, they stumble upon it and realize, oh, no, they're not the first ones to the key. There's this giant squid that's already there. And no, it doesn't guard the key. It just happens to be there at the same time. Because I don't really feel like making a sentient sea creature that has a designated job to guard an inanimate object because that seems like animal cruelty. Yeah, that's how it works in my brain at least. So, while they're there, this giant squid happens to see them and it thinks, oh hey, that's not a submarine. I'd leave that thing alone. No, 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 that's a whale, and that seems like a great snack. So, while these explorers are just trying to get this old key, they get caught up in this knot from this giant squid because it's reaching out with its tentacles to grab onto what it thinks is a whale so it can eat. It's just living its life, trying to eat a meal to, you know, survive. And these explorers are about to become this giant squid's lunch or dinner or breakfast or whatever. Yeah, that's that was my storyline basis. I'm kind of proud of it, honestly. I think it's it works really well. It's kind of funny. A little sad because some explorers aren't um, going to have the best day. And their team's going to wonder, oh no, they didn't come back. When are they coming back? They're not because they're going to be eaten. So... They also didn't share with anyone else where this lost key is. So it sounds like there's going to be some more exploring in the future for this group to find the key to get into the lost city of Atlantis. Yeah, it's pretty sad. They already found the lost city, but they need the key to get in and they don't know where it is. And the people that do, they're not coming back. Yeah, that's what I went with. I think it's a fun story. I mean in a morbid kind of way, but 
I don't know. It seems like it could be in like a picture book or like a storyline or movie or something. And I think it's goofy. I like it. So yeah, that was my thought behind these three prompts. And I think they work really well together. So let me just keep patting myself on the back and feed my own ego. All right. A little bit about the art stuff with this. I was just using Copic markers because that's what I have. I have a whole set of chow markers and I really like this blue green color. I thought it added some depth into the background to give some more contrast to the foreground with lighter colors. Yeah, all those art techniquey things. So that's why I use this color. I also just really like it and thought it looked like deep ocean without it being completely black because I thought that would be too dark and a little too boring and I also just like the contrast between these tealy blue colors and like orangey pink colors because I think it just looks nice. So that's what I'm using. I'm also trying to clean up some of the spots that I went over the lines with with the uh, like colorless blender. That's what it's called. Don't know why I couldn't think of that word for a minute. <laughs> but yeah, just would not be one of my videos if I stayed inside the lines. No, no, gotta go outside the lines because I am an adult and can do what I want. Yeah. So I was struggling to sort of figure out what colors I wanted to use for this old key to make it look old. And I thought since it was so big, it probably wouldn't be made of steel because that just, I didn't like that idea. So I decided I'd make it brown and well, the brown that I picked to use, it's pretty much dead. There's very little ink left. You will you can see me struggling to get any amount of it out. It's it made a horrible scratchy sound on the paper and just, yeah, it was, it was sad. I need to get some more ink to refill this guy. But yeah, at least it gave an interesting texture and inspired the rest of the design for the key. So I was using a different brown marker and this one, it has plenty of ink. Don't worry about that. But I thought I would use the brush nib and just sort of make some streaks to give it some more texture. And it made the key look like it was made out of wood and I really liked that. But it just didn't seem quite old enough. And I thought, you know, if it, they were above water, it'd grow moss or something or vines. And even though they're under the sea, I thought maybe like algae would grow on it, something like that, some kind of greenish plant thing because it's been there for a while. So that's what I did. I just added some clumps of like green dots to mimic algae or something, some kind of plant. And yeah, I think that really helped make this key look like it was a little bit more old. And with everything except the key, I added in shadows with a darker color just to give it some more depth. And I don't know why I didn't add onto the key is probably because I was too afraid to mess it up but I kind of like that it doesn't have shadow because it makes it seem like the key is part of this story, but it also makes it seem like it's a very special object within this story. It's just sort of there while this squid and submarine are interacting, but the key has a special purpose that is separate from the story of the squid and the submarine. That's what I'm going with at least. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of this prompt. Thanks so much for watching my video, guys. It means a lot to me. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. This also makes sure that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I tend to post about twice a week, normally on Mondays and Fridays. Mondays are prompts and Fridays are a bunch of random stuff like reviews, art challenges, that kind of thing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Do you want to see more shenanigans? Then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Oh, you want to see more shenanigans like right now? then check out these suggestions on your screen or head on over to my Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Check back soon for some more shenanigans. Bye.